Dickens, he's Fenster. Starring Marty Ingalls, John Aston, with Emmeline Henry. Waiting. We've been playing three hours. Make it another half hour. Half, half hour is good for yeah, me. Yeah, okay, but I better let her know, huh? Yeah, yeah go ahead. Good idea. Irene, honey? <laughs> It'll be another half hour, huh? <laughs> what? What? Oh, well, then put the top up and put the heater on then. <laughs> okay. Hi, Bet. Come in. I'm out. 10.30 to wife. Now remember, fellas, I'm over here helping Harry fix the kitchen. Hello, honey. <laughs> now, hey, fellas, fellas. Hey, it's for a Miss Emerson. Oh, that's for Kate. It's the hospital. Oh. Hello, this is Mr. Dickens. Yeah, she got the call. Yeah, she'll be there. Goodbye. Who's Bet? What's with this Miss Emerson business? Oh, Kate hasn't worked at the hospital for years. They've still got her listed as unmarried. Oh, She's come on now. Let's play cards. I think a woman's place is in the home. Oh, they're supposed to take care of their kids, make the meals, wash the dishes, do the laundry, clean a house. What do they need would work. <laughs> You're afraid to let your wife out of the house, Bentley. You got to learn how to trust. Trust is a 24-hour-a-day job. My wife wants to go back to teaching guys dancing. Trust is a 36-hour-a-day job. <laughs> Cards, anyone? Teaching, huh? dancing, being a nurse is the same thing. Guys flip for nurses. I wouldn't let my wife near a hospital. Well, you've seen them doctors on TV. They're gorgeous. Well, when she turns on, when she turns on Ben Casey, she wouldn't touch that knob until she scrubs up. <laughs> Wives, wives, wives. I'm under the impression we came here to play cards, not discuss our wives. It's up to you, Harry. I'm gonna take three cards. Boy, we're doing a great business on that phone tonight. Play these for me, will you? Taking two. Hello? Okay? Yeah, just a minute. Kate! What is it, dear? Telephone. Oh. Thank you. Hello? Yes, yes, I am. Oh, well, that's very thoughtful of you. Yes, yeah, sure. Yes, I'll be ready in a few minutes. Thank you. Oh, isn't that nice, dear? One of the nurses is going to give me a lift over to the hospital. Oh, that's fine. Oh, baby, look, maybe I shouldn't go. You're, you're going to be alone for three more nights. Don't worry about me. I'll be okay. You sure? Sure. Oh, darling, do me a favor. Put this ring in a safe place for me. I nearly lost it a couple times today when I was scrubbing up. Love you. Four kings hold up, huh? Hey, what happened to all my money? Uh, you lost a dollar, Harry. A dollar? <laughs> I got time for one more hand. Forget it. Oh, oh come on, I just got forget it. Forget it. You're the loser. Oh, yeah. Hardly worth no, my what? coming here. Oh, you came here. Hold on, Harry. Tomorrow, tomorrow work. Break it up. Yeah. Yeah. Work job. Yeah. 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 Work early tomorrow. Good night, Good night, Harry. See you, Don't you have a date waiting for you? Harry, what's wrong? Nothing. Harry, is it three years of never winning a part that's bothering you? <laughs> it's Kate. And what Bentley said before. And guys do flip for nurses, and Kate looks beautiful in her uniform. Harry, Harry, Kate's gonna be picked up by a nurse, huh? And safety in numbers, it works. Yeah, you know? you're right. Go yeah. on. Excuse me. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Bill Turner. Is Miss Emerson here? You're a doctor. No, I'm a male nurse. <laughs> Good night, Arch. Good night, dear. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that guy's handsome enough to be a doctor. Oh, 
Sarge, can you see what happens? Harry, what? don't worry, Harry. Just don't worry, will you please? You have nothing to worry about. Nurses are dedicated people. They don't think about things like, uh, like running around and dating and carrying on. They don't. They have one thing on their mind, Harry. Just one thing. Their work. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Of course. <laughs> Listen, it's 11.30. I better get outside and, and uh, you know, Irene's waiting in the car for me. We've only got a couple of hours left for some fun. She goes on duty at the hospital at 6 in the morning. <laughs> Coming, baby! <laughs> Harry! Harry, do you know where Kate keeps the orange juice squeezer? No! Last night. Didn't get to sleep until four. Harry, you gotta cut this out. You gotta stop it. Kate loves you. You can't go on. Oh, no, I solved that problem ten minutes after you left. I couldn't get to sleep because last night's the first time I've been alone since we were married. Oh, strange, huh? Yeah, until I got the feeling she was in the house, I couldn't close my eyes. Well, how'd you get the feeling? I hung some wet stockings over the shower curtain. I sprinkled the bed with hair curlers, and just as I started to doze off, I said, Harry, get me a glass of water. I said, get it yourself. I fell asleep like a rock. <laughs> Smell. It's later than I thought. Mine's up. Listen, thanks for worrying about me, Arch. But like I said to Bentley, trust is a 24 hour a day job, and now I believe it. Oh, well, Kelvin. Well, darling, you're still home. Oh, good. Then we can have some breakfast together. I can't. We're late. See you tonight. Love you. Yeah, love you. Hello. Hi. Hi. That was my husband, the one who kissed me. I understand. Cup Would you like a cup of coffee, Doctor? Well, Prego, but a little. I only have a little time. Boy, oh boy, are we going to have a breakfast together? I thought you were so late. Something's wrong with Mel's car. What? His horn is stuck. Harry, this is Dr. DiGiorgio. Well, I'll get us some breakfast as soon as I get my coat off here. Allow me. Well, thank you. Harry, Dr. DiGiorgio is in America lecturing on Italian technique. I see. I'll be right back. What do you do, Mr. Dickens? I build things. I'm a carpenter. I work with my hands. Oh, I always admire people who make things or uh, are good with their hands. I am not very good with these. Well, what's your specialty? I'm a brain surgeon. <laughs> uh, a good one, but I cannot even fix a chair. Hey, come on, Harry. Come on, the car's waiting. Dr. DiGiorgio, this is Arch Fenster. Hi, Come Hello, on, Harry, yeah. play. Dr. DiGiorgio is a famous Italian operator. He's going to stay here now and have breakfast. Yeah, will he? Italian opera? Right. Oh. 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 Pardon me, but where can I wash my hands, please? Oh, oh, you want to wash your hands? Oh, there's a service station about a quarter of a mile down the road. Very sad. I am sure there is not another place somewhat more uh, closer. Yeah, right in there. Thank you. Oh, we tried, Harry. We tried. Harry, listen, we got 30 miles to cover in 22 minutes. Come on, Harry. Come on. You and Mel go ahead. I feel like walking. Harry, trust is a 24-hour day job. Go ahead, I'll join you. Harry. Out. Harry, there's something I didn't get to say to you last night. What? Thank you. Thanks for what? For not being like Joe Bentley. I couldn't help overhearing last night. He's afraid to let his wife out of his sight. So, thank you for not being jealous. And uh, for just being enough jealous. Just enough jealous? we got to have a breakfast together. Oh, well. <laughs> it's normal to be a little bit jealous. Sure it is, honey. Now, what would you like to have for breakfast? I ate. Yeah, I thought you had. Honey, if you don't get going, you're going to be four hours late. OK. Uh, pardon me. May I use your phone? I want to call the automobile club. I didn't like the way the motor was sounding. Oh, sure, doctor. It's in the other room. I hope they come faster than last time, or you will have me as your guest for the entire morning. Maybe I think I'll have a little breakfast. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Arrivederci. Okay. Harry, 
what's disturbing you? Nothing's disturbing me. You know, those automobile clubs are wonderful. Uh, usually you call them, they're there in 15 minutes tops. It took an hour. Harry, Dr. DeGiorgio is happily married. They have five children. Right now, he and his wife are in Seattle where he's lecturing. I didn't ask you that. Honey, you want me to stop working? You want me to stay home tonight? Is that what you want? I'll get the ladder. Harry, I asked you a question. Forget it, Kate. It's all in my mind. It's all up here. I gotta start believing what I say I believe. We got something going for us that's built to last, and I gotta remember that. Oh, you're right about that bracket. I gotta get a screwdriver. Hold this for me, will you? You go to the hospital tonight. Work a whole week if you want to. That's the way I feel. That's the key, Harry. Trust isn't a 24-hour-a-day job. It's a feeling. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. A 22-year-old male nurse comes in, I panic. A mature man with five children brings you home, I'm petrified. <laughs> it's not the man who walks through that door that counts. It's the little man in here that's my competition. Now, get the screwdriver. Yeah, I'm not sure you're gonna need it, though. Yeah, come on in. Uh, Mrs. Dickens? Uh-huh. Uh, George couldn't come by. He was called in as a consultant on a tracheotomy. He asked me to come by and pick you up. <laughs> Harry, <laughs> this is Dr. Uh, what was your name? Dr. Bartlett. Dr. Bartlett. He's giving me a lift to the hospital. <laughs> Wouldn't a car be better? Uh, are you all right, Mrs. Dickens? I'm fine, thank you. Really, thank you very much. I think we better get going, Doctor. Uh, good night, Mr. Dickens. Nurse, may I see you for a minute, please? Dr. Bartlett, I'll be with you in a minute. Harry, the curtain was falling down. I was trying to save it. My marriage is falling down. I'm trying to save it. That was no 22-year-old middle-aged man. That was competition. <laughs> this is something we've got to settle right now. How can I go to work knowing how you feel? But if I stay, honey, I'm staying for all the wrong reasons. Now, you've got to make a decision that you can live with. Do I go? Do I stay? It's up to you. How long are you going to be in there? You've been combing your hair for a good half hour. You're going to wear out the brush. <laughs> Harry. <laughs> Would you please relax, Harry? Just relax. 200 brush strokes. What have you got against personal daintiness? <laughs> Harry? Harry, listen. What? Harry, listen, you made a decision to trust Kate. No, you trust her? Relax. I will when you let me get some sleep. Harry, look, you want me to go, I'll go. No, 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 don't go. I can't sleep alone. Not tonight. <laughs> okay, well, then remember that I'm a guest in your house and treat me like a guest, that's all. C for comb, B for brush. How about some S for sleep? <laughs> Harry, you know, if you keep this up, Harry, I'm warning you, you're going to destroy a beautiful friendship. I'm sorry, we shouldn't fight. I'm not talking about you and me. You and Kate. Ours is for keeps. <laughs> Harry, there was no sense in telling her to go if you didn't really want her to go. I meant it. I just need some sleep and I'll be all right. Oh, Harry, you do need sleep and you're gonna get it. You're gonna get it. You just roll over and go right to sleep. Okay? <laughs> Good night, Arch. Good night, Harry. Harry, I have to have the pillow just right. It's my only idiosyncrasy. It has to be just right.
It's no good. I can't read this way. How do you read at home? Well, the lamp is at the foot of the bed where it belongs. I can't sleep with the light on. Turn it off. Harry, if I turn it off, how am I going to read? By the light of those pajamas. Forget reading. <laughs> Harry. Harry, I have to read before I go to bed, Harry. I, I, I just have to, Harry. Harry, please, just, just a few pages, huh? Okay. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Gulliver's Travels <laughs> by Jonathan Swift. 75 cents. <laughs> Page one. My father had a small estate in Nottinghamshire. I was the third of five sons. How do you expect me to sleep while you're reading alone? Oh, Harry, that's the only way I can read. I have to read Look, alone. at home, you're a bachelor. Now, you don't disturb anybody. Here, you're disturbing me. Now, if you're going to read, read the regular way, quietly. My father had a small estate of nothing. I can't just read it, Harry. It's a long... Then go to sleep! Harry. Okay, Harry. I will, Harry. Yeah, and you better get some sleep. You're getting awful irritable. Good night, Harry. <laughs> I have a date tomorrow. I forgot to iron my pocket handkerchief. Well, you're not going to iron now. No. Harry, it'll only take a few minutes. I don't know where Kate keeps the iron. Well, I know where I keep mine. <laughs> H, handkerchief. I, iron. Back up to G and give me a gun. <laughs> I can't take any more of this. You're not going to move this bed to put that plug in. I don't have to. Don't tell me. Yeah, E, e electricity. electricity. I ripped up a bed. <laughs> you're going to bed. You're going to iron in the morning. In the morning? In the morning. Okay. Okay, but you'll have to hammer your own orange juice. <laughs> Good night. Arch, I can't sleep. Arch, I can't sleep. Arch, I can't sleep. What's the matter, Harry? I thought you wanted to get some sleep. I gotta talk to Kate. I gotta tell her she can go to the hospital. Harry, she went. You told her. You said, go ahead, darling. That's not what I said. Well, what'd you say? I said, go ahead, darling. I know she doesn't think I meant it. Harry, she never would have gone if she didn't think you I meant it. I gotta talk to her. She's gotta know I'm not jealous. She knows that. She's gotta know I love her. She knows that. Oh, it's the way I've been behaving. I'm an insecure, stupid person. She knows that. <laughs> Harry, you wanna talk to her? You have to talk to her. Here, talk to her. Tell her. No, no, it's gotta be face to face. The mouth can be a liar, but the eyes tell the truth. <laughs> You're trying to tell me we're going to take all of it to the hospital now. Right, right. <laughs> well, let's get going. Thanks. I know she'll feel better when I talk to her. Yeah. It's 11 o'clock. The stores are closed. I wanted to get her something. Chocolates or flowers. Well, make up your mind. Flowers. Here. <laughs> or would you prefer a potted plant? I Come have on. <laughs> Maternity reception. Thank you. Mr. Esco, Mr. Esco, Mr. Esco, congratulations, it's a boy. It's a boy. Oh, boy. Uh, have a boy. Uh, have a cigar. Oh, boy, I'm a cigar. I'm a father. Have a cigar. Oh, boy. Can I see my wife now? Yes, yeah, she's like, in maternity. I'd like to see my son. I want to talk to him. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Am I... <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to see my wife, Miss Emerson. Oh, Kate. She's on duty in room 217. Thanks. But you can't see her while she's working. No, but it's important. Sorry, hospital regulations. But she'll be off for 10 minutes around 4. I just want to see her for 10 seconds. Rules. Harry, come here, Harry. I got to talk to her, Arch. I got to tell her I love her. Yes, relax. Just relax, Harry. We'll find a way, that's all. all right. Just got to think it out. 
Now, in order to get you to see Kate, um, you gotta get through that corridor, right? Right. But there's the guard there, right? Right. So the first thing we gotta do is distract the guard, right? Right. How do we do that? Simple. How? Wait a minute, it's not so easy to get a simple idea. <laughs> I gotta be a decoy. I gotta do something big. Yeah. So big that he forgets what he's doing and focuses attention on me. Right. I got it. What? See that water cooler over there? Yeah. I'm gonna limp over to that water cooler. And on the way over, I'm gonna take a fool and just lay there, yeah. you know? Yeah. Now the guard, you see, yeah. the guard has to come over and see what happens. Yeah. And when he bends over me, that's your cue to go around him and through the corridor, Got understand? Yeah. Now, it. to cover up yeah. any noise that you'll make in the corridor, I'll mow, you know? I'll Good go, idea. ooh, yeah. ah, yeah. ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, fellows. There's no such thing as a perfect crime. Now, you better just wait here with the rest of the party. Yes. Stuck here till four o'clock. No, no. There's got to be a way out. Out is easy in it, Tom. Yeah. Good evening, Nils. Good evening, Dr. Hammond. Working late? Yes, I told my patient in the maternity ward that I would stop by on my way home. You'll come with me and to bring your traps. Yes, Doctor. Hi, Betty. Hi, John. Harry. There's a new nurse on duty. Same rules. I'll be right back. Where are you going? I'll be right back. Maternity reception. Just a second, I'll see. Is there Mr. Bellman here? Mr. Bellman? Is there a Mr. Bellman here? I've got a baby. Well, I just gave birth to a baby. <laughs> I'm a father. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. Here, have a cigar. I'm a father. Nurse, I'm Mr. Bellman. Uh, I'm the father. Do I go through here? Oh, no, 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 Mr. Bellman. Your wife and child are waiting in the main lobby for you to pick them huh? up. <laughs> you pay that bill at the cashier's desk on your way out. <laughs> well, th this, is, uh, th this is for Joe Bellman. I'm Harry. Harry, Croman, Croman. Good evening, nurse. I am uh, Dr. Fenster. I was called in as a consultant on the case in room 217. Uh, and Miss Emerson is expecting me. I will go. Aha. Uh -huh. And there's my colleague, Dr. Dickens. Oh, <laughs> Dr. no, no. Yes, there must be some mistake, Doctor. I'm Harry Crowman. Yeah, but we'll go up to who? Harry Crowman. <laughs> well, amazing resemblance to Dr. Amazing resemblance to Dr. Dickens here. <laughs> well, I'm not. I just, well, I'm very sorry. Uh, what did you say it was? <laughs> Crowman. Oh, Crowman, yes. But is that what a C or a K? I don't know. <laughs> well, I, that's not Dr. Dickens, but. I guess I'm gonna have to go up and take care of this myself. <laughs> well, I'll go upstairs. <laughs> I'm not gonna take care of this case at all. <laughs> Arch, I uh, don't know how to thank you for all you've done for me. You were right in talking me out of hanging around the hospital. Kate might have misunderstood my motives for coming. You're a truly wonderful friend. Harry, Harry, I only did what any truly wonderful friend would do. <laughs> Listen, I better get my gear out of the bedroom. Mel will be picking us up any minute. Hi, darling. Hi. Tired? Yeah, a little. I missed you. I missed you. Kate, I, uh, I want to apologize for the way I, I behaved. I, I... Darling, will you please stop torturing yourself? You're a very understanding man. When you left, I wasn't sure you believed me when I said I didn't mind you going to work. No, I believed you. I trust you, Kate. I do, I really do. I know you do, dear. Mrs. Dickens, I love you. And I love you. Mr. Krellman. <laughs>